Okay. Let's go live. What's up, everybody? It's Mark Olson here. We're going to do a challenge today. You guys can challenge me on the live stream, right? That's going to be fun. Um, I'm just finishing up a coin game here, just getting a little bit of warm up. So I'm not playing terrible, <laughs> terribly bad like I did last time in the first match. Trying to get that game one syndrome out of the out of my body, you know. Uh, is this a double? Mm -hmm. Nah, let's wait. Let's wait. Ah, was it a double? I think. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's correcting me. It probably was a double actually, it's from the bar. I think I just lost my market. Yeah, I lost my market. I probably should have doubled. Okay, so it's a little bit distracting starting the live stream. Am I live? Can you guys hear me? I think you can. 53 viewers already. Just getting started. Remember to smash the like button, guys. Is he thinking about taking this cube? Hmm. I don't think it's a take. He doesn't have a back in established. That's when you have two anchors in my home board. Somebody says, I can hear you. Okay, good. Very good. <laughs> Sean Wilf Wilford says, hi, daddy. I hope I'm not your daddy, Sean. Uh, Henry Keen, we can hear you, Mark. Okay, good. Good stuff. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to create a private game in the new Bagaman Galaxy app. You can play from the browser, yes, uh, on play dot bagamangalaxy.com oh that wasn't good i guess i missed a double i guess that was my mistake no hit mm, okay and yeah here i missed the cube 48 mistake yeah that was a double why didn't i double this i guess i got distracted okay so let's just check out my stats here before we get going Median error rate. Ooh, I've been very strong in the coin games lately. This is the stats of the last 30 matches in each category. So my stats ha haven't been quite as good, but still rather okay in the longer matches here. And But in coin game, I've really excelled. So uh, I should be in reasonably good begammon shape here. <laughs> Let me just get that out of the way. Sorry. Um, okay, so I'm going to create a private game play a friend the first one who enters the code gets to play me and we're gonna do uh three point matches normal clock which is a little bit fast for me because i'm trying to narrate the game while i'm while i'm playing um <laughs> so let's say okay first one to enter the code can be my first opponent so here you go, 3687. The first one to enter the code gets to play. And, uh, ooh, that was fast. Johnny Poe. Hmm, okay. That was fast. How did he do that? You're fast, okay. Maybe he has the faster feet than anybody else. Okay, he got very happy. 46% uh, winning rate, not too many coins, not too much rating here, so, oh, total sixes. Johnny and by the way if you can beat me in terms of um match and galaxy uh, or sorry and error rate you're going to get 5000 galaxy coins but you know seeing Johnny's stats here I'm going to be surprised but you know anything can happen in a three point match not quite a double yet we're going to go for the blitz attack he dances that's a trigger I'm going to double I will double Mark's rule says early cubes are always takes. But is this so early? You know, we're playing a three-point match, so he has to be more careful about taking cubes here. If it's gammon, it's, ooh, I'm really going to punish him here. Boom. Boom. Blitz attack. He has to get lucky now. I think I'm going to win this match. I think I'm going to win that match. Wait a minute. Is it? Does it make sense to play this? Or? Nah, just make points. We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. So remember to smash the like button, guys, right? To get some YouTube algo points. Okay, let's just get some freedom with the back checkers. I want to get a double shot there. That's nice. That is the nice, a nice way to do it. Four, three, oh. Okay, just play like that. 
Let's pick up that third guy. Why not? Or should we? Do we need to pick up that third guy? Hmm, maybe we shouldn't pick up the third guy. Maybe we shouldn't pick up the third guy. Hmm. I mean, picking up the third guy does give him a little bit of extra winning chances. And in the end, when I'm bearing off. So, should we hit that third guy? How greedy should we be here? I guess it doesn't make too much difference either way. You know what? Let's do this. I want to use most of my aces of closing out my five point anyway. Oh, that is an air ball. Hmm. Hmm. Double fives, the only shot. I hope he doesn't roll a five here. Oh, I could see the gammon slipping away here. Oh. <laughs> Michael Carr says in the chat, oh my God, Mark, I wish that I knew this was on. Well, we just started, Michael, so no worries. This is just a live stream, you know. That's how it goes. Uh, what about this one? Pay now? Does that make sense? While he's weak? I mean, pay later, then he's stronger next time. I might not leave any shots. Hmm. I mean, we do this and pay later, then he's going to build a board, then a we're probably not going to leave a shot maybe half the time. But how dangerous is it to get hit here? We could, it could be the Gammon Trap. It could be the Gammon Trap. Let's do it. If he hits us, we might win a Gammon. Because if <laughs> he's going to open up somehow, right? And if he doesn't hit us, then we're just home free. It should be easy peasy. Okay, he's thinking about this 5-3 apparently. Okay, he's taking a long time. I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> Just play something, you know. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Mm, okay, so there's a Russian guy saying, want to play... Grandmaster Backgammon, I'm a chest Grandmaster, will be interesting. Okay, I don't know your name uh, because I can't read these Russian letters. So, but that sounds fun. That would be cool if you could get one of these codes today. So I could have a real Grandmaster battle, even though I will have the upper hand. <laughs> Since you're a chess Grandmaster, not a Backgammon Grandmaster. Uh, yeah, and I get to flash my legendary avatar here on Backgammon Galaxy. Nice little perk for the top players of the world. They have their own private avatar. Okay. I guess the gammon was slipping away here. Unfortunately, it looked like a certain gammon win. Oh, maybe not. I'm back. I am back in the gammon race. One extra double would be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, trying to keep up with your comments in the meantime. So smash the like button, guys. We've got 21 likes. That's not so much. Oh, come on with a double. Even double aces will do. Oh, how did he play that? What? I look how lucky he gets. Then he has to roll a six to save the gammon, and he does. That was a big blunder, Johnny. You could have played that in another way, I think. Couldn't he? Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's happy. He won another... He won a game. He gets another chance. Um, so, yeah, that was a lucky save, huh? <laughs> um, let's go get that high anchor there to win. I'm winning the anchor war, having the most advanced anchor, but he's also doing quite well. So this is just a mutual holding game. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. I'm up nine pips. Let's just run. Let's run. Minimize contact. I'm up in the race. Okay. Yeah, just bringing those guys home. That's my game plan. Keep it simple. Safety matters here. This is a holding game. I have a racing advantage. So I'm basically just trying to get into a straight race. Um, should we just clear the 10? What about just doing this? Then if I roll double sixes, I can't clear. Ah, but the race is so close that it, maybe it's nice to have the four point here with this close race. I might even build with 3-1. I can build the seven point. 6-3. Three. 
Oh, double sixes. Okay, there. Now I can't clear my ten point because I left a builder there. But it's okay. It is okay. Yeah, clear from the rear. I think I'm gonna win this one. That double sixes were was great. Okay, aces. Am I enough? Ahead, am I ahead enough just to clear from the rear? Here? Eighteen pips. I think so. I think it's right on the borderline. I could play this. It's also nice. Eighteen pips. Blocking is double four. Uh, this is close. I think I want to clear from the rear. I think 18 pips is enough to just clear from the rear. It's one of those topics that uh, I actually wrote about this topic in the masterclass book. The functionality of a point. When to block, when to, when to race, or when to clear. Uh, okay, we've got Stephen Hanna in the chat. We've got Max Power in the chat. We got somebody called Super Dan <laughs> in the chat. Uh huh. Okay, somebody asks, how can I? Pl how can you play? Well, you you play. I I share the code here on live on YouTube, and whoever enters the code first gets to play. So it just. Whoever gets there first, but I will play many matches. I'm probably going to play like five or six matches or something like this the next hour, hour and a half. So you will get several opportunities. Oh, did he just roll? What? Did he just roll double sixes? Oh my God. I, now he's going to win this one. Oh. I thought I was steamrolling him. I was crushing him actually. So we've got Morten Jakobsen in the in the stream. What about a Danish master versus Danish grandmaster challenge? Well, Morten, I would love that, but you got to be first one to put in the the four digit code. I think we just do we maximize doubles here No, we just distribute. Ooh, aces. I have a chance. That's not a good roll. That is not a good roll. 6-3 is pretty good. There we go. I might be a favorite now. Come on, come on. Okay, now I need a little bit of luck. Now I need a little, I... Okay, now I'm angry. Angry and motivated. I'm gonna annihilate this guy, Johnny Pole. 24 wins, 28 losses from Great Britain. Okay, let me see post Crawford. Basically just double match point right now. I'm a favorite actually. Now my favorite. Oh, I played that a little bit mindlessly. Actually, ugh, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. I don't know why I played it. The 11 point was better than the 22 point here. And I'm going to take it. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Ooh, this is good. But, but look at the beautiful, efficient use of checkers after this play. I got to play it checker utilization that's my favorite concept in the game so i need to play that move when i have a chance to do so i wonder what if he knows what to do here i know what to do i know exactly what he should do here let's see if he does i'm not gonna in case he listens this is a crucial move so i'm gonna say it after he makes a move here there's blunder potential here i think there is blunder potential let's see if he Makes the right move here. That was the best move. Well played, Johnny. That was the right idea. The butterfly anchor. Oh, look at this. So remember, this is double match point, right? So that means that these kind of plays make a lot of sense. They do make a lot of sense. It's also nice to just slot. Very pure and efficient. I'm going to make a strong prime here. Ah, but I want to go for freedom. I think I want to go for freedom. Yeah, let's do it. Double match point style. That's typically the right idea. Double match point. Just here we go. Okay, so we're up to 33 likes. Come on, guys, smash the like button. We're almost at 150 viewers now. We're just getting started. This is the first match of the session. So <laughs> 
I think we can get at least 100 likes. 3, 2. Okay, we could do this, but man, there's so many good shots there. So I think I got to do this. And what about just minimizing blots a little bit? What about just minimizing blots? Is this too big? It leaves another 5, 3 and a 5, 4. 5, 3 is duplicated over here. So is 5, 4. They are duplicated. But they would be quite good. They would be quite good. That race is close. <sighs> I am. I need race here. I need to protect my racing lead. So I'm gonna just minimize blots, blot count, and play safe. Two one. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna hit him right back. Now we have the upper hand. Now we have the upper hand. Now I want either a six to jump or a five to cover. 4-2 is a little bit of a mm, boring roll, but let's see. Depends on how he responds. 4-2 from the bar to him. Obviously, he's going to hit loose here. No other choice. F starting to look good. Ah, he got a 5. Let's see if he's too scared to run. But that was a good roll. That was a very good roll. Now he has to consider how to play the 4. So the standard play, I guess, is just to cover, but he could try to keep his prime uh, compact and concrete. Let's see what he's got to do. Yeah, he's got a hit here. It seems like a pretty clear pl play to me. It's double match point. Gammon losses doesn't matter or don't matter. So the big question is how to play the four. That's the big question, right? But I think he should just cover. But maybe he's counting out the shots either way. Because it is a lot of shots he's leaving um, when he's playing when he's covering this three point here. <laughs> Alan P says, "Shh, he can hear you." <laughs> oh, but look at this beautiful roll from the bar. I he just won't die. This guy, he just doesn't want to die. Okay, two one. I'm gonna attack. Oh, what am I? Let's see. It's double match point. Yeah, I gotta attack. I got to attack and see if I can make a 6 prime here. 5 would be great. That's nice. That is very nice. So let's just not give him jokers. Here he does have a double 2, double 1, double 2 hits. But mm, double 1 is pretty good if I stay on the 18. I think I'm going to play this one. Okay, not the best. But I'm just going to build my prime. Oh, that's a lucky roll. He gets there. That's a lucky roll. He fights back. The battle is not won yet. Oh, I just realized. Uh-oh. I just realized something. I'm such an amateur in doing streams. I always make this mistake. I forget to... I, Wilson is going to kill me. I forget to upload... Uh, on, um, I forgot to uh, change my title. So this should be... Grandmaster challenge. Here we go. Okay. Boom. And then put that over here. There we go. Oh, 6 1 from the bar. Good. I'm winning now. I am winning. I am winning. <laughs> um. Actually, 4 was a good roll for him. He got some counter prime, but then I just immediately rolled 2 5 and I just slither th through the cracks. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't think he can blitz on the ace point here. Yeah, I guess you just played like that. Should we just stay there for some contact? It doesn't really matter because I already have enough men back. I don't need, need more. So I just want him to crunch, actually. So I don't need to fish for more checkers. Okay, four, one, whatever, whatever. Uh, this is one of those situations where flexibility doesn't really matter. So if I can get checkers to the ace point, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Because I want to move some, I, like for instance, this one, I think I need to just play it like this. So I move pips before I let go of my six prime. It's a little bit of a secret trick, grandmaster trick. Is this one right? Mm, I don't know. Let's do this one. 
like this, you know. I'm just keeping my six prime as long as possible. I'm letting go of my seven point first, so I don't have to play forced sixes. And it seems like a gin position, this one, right? How is he gonna win this? Even he's, if he gets lucky and hit a shot. And because he's crunched, I can just bear off checkers aggressively. No need to be scared. And I think the first victory here, however, let me just clear from the rear. I don't need to be that greedy. Bringing up checkers. Okay, f one, mm, clear from the rear. Just take off checkers, perhaps. Yeah, just take off checkers. Uh, five two clear from the rear gin position. Good game. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm jinxing it, you know. There is a theoretical possibility of losing this game, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Good game. Good sport, Johnny. Well done. So Johnny, you are off the table now. You gotta let someone else uh get into the stream here. So I'm going to first I'm gonna switch up my board. I'm gonna pick another board. Uh, some of my unlocked boards. Oh, let's see the air raid battle. Let's see. I know I did a couple of misplays, but let's see. Overall, it should be okay. Okay, good. 1.5. Good play, Johnny. Very, very good play, Johnny. Let's just quickly see. Oh, he was splitting here against my blitz formation. Then he took this cube. That was a bit optimistic. Oh, that was a big pass, actually. And then we played very well, both of us, after that. Here he wants to slit. Okay, it, it was. Did it want to? Okay, it's a little bit better to stay on the 16. Try to fish for the third checker. Oh yeah, he made a mistake here. It looked weird. No, actually, it was not that one. It was this move, and he didn't make a mistake. I was weird. Okay, and let's see. Game. Oh, oops. Game number two. I know I'm very fast when I'm doing this, but that's because I'm. My Begammon brain is a supercomputer, so I'm just like downloading the information. It's a little similar to Neo in the Matrix, you know? Just plug it in. Uh, yeah, this one, <laughs> I don't know why I misplayed it. I was distracted. And I said, told you guys immediately, like, that's not the best way to play double two in a response, not even double match point. Uh, yeah, you just played like this, the default double two. But uh, everything else looked fine. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, what did I do here? Five, two, okay, this deuce was a little bit better. Yeah, just play as flexibly as possible to make the prime fair enough and that's it okay guys let's go to the next game uh, i'm gonna switch my board here i'm gonna watch what to choose i have my i mean i love this board the quantum board but i've been using that a lot in the streams lately i only have one epic board that's the orbit okay what about the nucleus board oh yeah that's cool let's use the nucleus okay guys are you ready we're gonna create another three-point match here normal time first one to Put in the code, gets to play 2866. Okay, let's see. Let's see who will play. <laughs> who will it be? Who will it be? Kali, okay, same age as me, 37. Uh, wow, this is the first match in Bagamon Galaxy. He has a little bit fewer coins than you start out with, so. Um, cool. The very first match. What a match it is. Um, yeah. For those of you guys who've been following our YouTube channel for a long time, you know that I have an affinity for exactly this uh, color pattern with the checkers here. I made a video maybe a year ago or something um, with the void board that you can buy in the Pagamon Galaxy shop showing this this ex this exact color combination okay six two is it worth leaving the three shot to make the 11 point sometimes it is but now he he does have a little bit of a prime going so uh, is it worth it is it worth it it's close i just don't like stacking you know let's make the 11 point i think it's worth it 2-1 is a little bit duplicated because you want to make the 5-point with 2-1. Uh, <laughs> OK, 
okay, a lot of you guys were cheering for the Monte Carlo board. We can put on the Monte Carlo board for the next match. So 4-3, are we hitting loose here? Ah, it's better to anger. It's better to anger. Bruce Roman says, I keep getting invalid key. It's because you're too slow, Bruce. <laughs> it's because other another guy already took up the key and joined the match. So you can't join a match that already started. That's why it says invalid key. Brian Wieholt as well. So Kali. What's up, Kali? Unfortunately, you're going to get destroyed on your, in your very first match here on Pagaman Galaxy. 3-1. Um, I, I kind of want to hit, but it's a little bit loose giving up the 8-point. Let's go for some priming structure. The 10-point is pretty use, useful here. Okay, for one. Mm -hmm. Burying a checker. Maybe burying is a little bit better. Okay, Bruce <laughs> Roman asks us again. I keep putting the four digit number and I click join and I get invalid key. What am I doing wrong? Well, the key was already taken. That's why. Um. Okay, 6-5, so we could consider the double falcon, but it's a little bit too early. It's a little bit too early. Um, I kind of want to play safe here, but I can't. So that's the 6. Do we cover with a 5, or do we make this play? I think we make this play. I think this is my play. Okay, 6-4. He's going to make his 3-point here, the 22-point. Okay, five three. Huh. Three and five. Yep. Building some prime structure. Actually we've got a little bit of an advantage now in the priming game. Five four. Let's see if he runs from his anger here. I'm not sure if he should. I don't think he should actually, but I'm not sure. Maybe. We do have two plots. Let's see. Let's see what Kali does. What's up, Kali? By the way, Kali, are you male or female? Male, okay. Oh yeah, 37 years, just like me, good age. Okay, he didn't run. I think that was the right play. Five, one. Hmm. Could also do this. That would win us the priming battle, but we are opening ourselves up a little bit. But we do have a bit of prime. It's just everything else. I mean, ah, we could do this. We could do this. I'm tempted, tempted to make this play because he's a little bit inflexible as well. Three, four, one, five, six. <laughs> Let's keep the anchor. Let's keep the anchor for now. But next time we might have to run. Oh, that's an awkward ace he has, huh? Look at the ace, doesn't play. What is he gonna do here? Haha. -ha. Where are you going to play your ace? Yeah. Annoying little ace. So now we have to run. Definitely running. Definitely running and keeping our prime. Keeping our prime intact. So, 4-3. Four <laughs> three. So Kali is a bit in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, you can play like this. Uh, is it a double? Is it a double three point match? We want to be aggressive, but that's that's a little bit aggressive, I think. Yeah, let's just wait. Uh, what if Kali doubles us here? Actually, the best roll he can get is a five. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does double. If he never rolls a five, we're winning. Oh, that's a good double, actually. It's a lot of blitz. A lot of blitz value here. But he's two men behind a five prime. 
most likely will get a single shot or he can crunch yeah he has crunching numbers let's take it oh 5-1 that's a killer that is a killer uh, I think it's a great double actually but I couldn't pass this cube you know he has crunch numbers immediately double 4 um, yeah okay what do you guys what are you guys saying in the chat catchy sequence says could you do a video when to double i.e. volatility market losers and market gainers doubling near take point etc i think i've done quite a few doubling videos but uh, if you watch my live streams here doubling decisions are going to come up all the time and i try to do my best to comment on them wait what what did he wow he didn't jump with the five. <laughs> oh, that's a big mistake oh punishment punishment what about making a solid prime here? I could play safe. Is that the way to go? Nah. I just want to make a solid prime. Duplicate the threes. Look, I'm dupl Oh, 6-4. That's a great shot. Now he doesn't crunch. Um, That was a big blunder on his behalf. He didn't come up with the five. <laughs> a very big blunder. Uh, redouble time? No, 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 no. Oh, wow, look at this beauty. Look at that beauty. 6 2. Okay, he gets a little bit lucky there, hitting us back. And we can't redouble yet. We can't redouble yet. We gotta get in. Oh, 1 3. Hmm? Let's see if, see if he knows that he has to run here. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not as easy to run from this one as it was last time. Because uh, he also has another good six to hit loose on the ace point. Let's see what he does. Okay, he does run and no hit. Okay. Is, what about this? Is this a double? No, I think it's better to just try to win without doubling. Like this. I Okay, I duplicated the sixes. So now he has to hit me rather than run. He could actually also run. He's up in the race. But I think it's best to hit. I have a chance here. And because I hold the cube, I get to play this game until the end. That's a pretty big advantage. I'm not going to get cubed out. I'm probably not going to lose a gammon either. There's a little bit of gammon in this, if he can close me out. But let's see if he can roll a six. No six, please. Aye. There, he did it. Too lucky. Okay. As long as I don't lose a gammon. But I'm pretty sure that I'm winning the error rate battle here in this match. Because he made a huge blunder not jumping the prime with the five before. <laughs> Johnny Pohl says, uh, thanks for the game. Careful in giving hints. We are listening to look for clues. <laughs> yeah, you're not really supposed to be listening when you're playing, right? That's a little bit of a little bit cheating. But I get it. Um, yeah, now I'm just getting crushed, unfortunately. Oh, could he leave a shot here? Two high dice. No. No shots. Okay. Well, that's the nature of the game. I can't win them all. I can't win them all. 6-5. Ah. Okay. Let's just get home and save the gammon. Let's just get home. Let's take two crossovers here. We waste a pip, but we gain a crossover. 5 and 3. Okay, we're oh, but we're saving the gammon. We are saving the G, and that's all that matters. Okay, he ends with two doubles, so good that we got that checker off the board. Okay, Crawford game, I can't double. Now I need to win two games in a row. Um, that's a bit of a tall order, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Of course, you know. Oh, that's six two. Okay, so. I gotta unstack the midpoint. So you could come down with a six, but I think it's better to make this play actually duplicating once. And sixes are also a good running number, so it's actually duplicating both aces and sixes. Five, two, bring them around. Four, three. Okay, I think he's gonna step up with a four, even though he's under the gun. And then he can bring down the three. That's kind of the only move he has here, right? Three, one, that's lovely. 
Um, he made a mistake there with four three. He got lucky though because I rolled one three, but he made a mistake. Oh, four one. That's beautiful, huh? Look at this. Look at this prime I've got. I'm winning the priming battle here. He's winning the race, but I have a better timing for the priming battle. It's good to get freedom in a priming battle, but but. What about just playing like this? Keeping the prime on. Yeah. Four, three. Let's extend the prime. We're just playing a priming battle here. Okay, I know what he, he should do here. <laughs> Let's see if he knows. I'm not gonna help him, you know, in case he's listening, because again, this is a crucial, crucial point in the game uh, let's see if he knows what to do I know exactly what to do in this situation <laughs> let's see if he does oh, okay he didn't he should step up with the ace and then hit loose on the ace point as a tempo hit because look I'm making the six prime with so many of my rolls here so it would have worked great as a tempo hit um, could also play like this Maybe that's better. Let's play it like this, just to be certain to get the... I mean, he should do the same again here. He made, he needs to t make the tempo hit, but he doesn't. He doesn't know that play. Uh, okay, it's not the best. Should I keep trying to make that six prime from the rear? Actually, yes. Don't lose on time, Mark. Let's try to keep playing for the six prime from the rear. Keep it slotted. Okay, now he doesn't have any good tempo hits available. So he should probably just bring two down from the midpoint. Aim builders for his five point. He could get lucky and counter prime me here. I'm still winning the prime. Okay, now he hits. <laughs> and I punish him, huh? Punishment. Six prime. Ah, he remakes the prime. Really? He has a chance here. That was a perfect roll from the bar. Uh, he gets to, gets his chance of counter priming, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Double hit. Ah, oh. ah, oh, two six. I I'm losing this game. Can you believe it? I'm losing this game. How is that even possible? Now I have to switch to the blitz attack and hope to get a four. Come on with. Oh, thank you very much. That's better, right? We could also close out, but. It's got to be better to just run. Dance again. Let's pick up some blots here. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, attack. Attack, attack, attack. The four, I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Should we pick up the third guy? Yeah, I could win a backgammon. So I should pick up the third guy if I can. So I stay here six pips away to maximize... I'm going to do the same. I want to pick up that third guy to get a little bit of a backgammon chance. It's not useful to bring those builders in deep. I'm losing a little bit of backgammon by putting my checkers deep. But look at this. I got the third guy and I have a little tiny bit of backgammon. That's a good roll. That's an excellent roll. Now a 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. I have a chance of winning a backgammon. Um, how aggressive should we be? Is that even gonna? Nah, I think we just need to clear from the rear. Ah, he gets a six. Dance, come on, dance. Ah, now it's slipping away the backgammon. I need a dance. No, no backgammon. <laughs> we had a small chance there. I'm gonna give him this. Now I have to destroy him in the double match point. <laughs> Gives me a smiley face. I'm trying to be angry and aggressive. And then somebody just smiles back at you. Okay, guys, 61 likes. We need to get to 100 likes. Come on, smash the like button. Okay, it's it's the double match point here. Uh, so I guess we could actually play this one in this at this score. But I'm going to keep it offensively. I'm going to play this one. I think I can I get into more back games by playing this move. Even though I only have 12 seconds left. Oh, wow. Bum, bum. Boom. Boom. Let's 
complicate things. That's pretty nice. Ah, three six, that's a lucky one. But look, we managed to complicate things here. I'm gonna have five men back. Oh, he hits the wrong guy. You hit the wrong guy, my friend. You should have hit out here in the outfield. Six two, beautiful. Exactly the type of game that I w wished to develop. Okay, what's better? Making that point. Yeah, let's make this point. Ah, now I regret. <laughs> I regret that I made the 18 rather than the 20 point. My idea was to keep that goalkeeper back on the 24 and then start jumping with this guy on the 20 point. Uh, Andy Abi Haida asks me, do you lose 5k coins if you lose on time? I probably will, right? Because that's a resign error. Ooh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Let's play it like this. We could have built a priming point here on the nine point. It would have been good, but I, it meant that I had to give up my nine point. Oh. Yeah. Distraction. Let's play it like that. 10 seconds left. Okay, I can't think too much about my decisions now. I have to play fast. Okay, 5-3. Anger on the 17. That's a little bit annoying. I can't attack here. Oh. You know what? Let me play it like this. Stay back with that rear checker rather than making the 16 point. It would have given me a little bit of an inflexible position. I want to make my prime here. Okay, let's see if he knows how to make the tempo hit again. We see me one step away from developing my prime, so he should go for the tempo hit. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about it. Which one is better here? I think I just got to hit. Just hit. Ah, lucky, lucky. Lucky return shot. But I also have return shots. Ugh. Let's play it like that. 6-3. He has many options here. He could run with the rear checker to the midpoint. He could run with this checker on my 7 point to his 9 point, my 16 point. Uh, not bad i guess it's a little bit inflexible but i have a big racing lead so i'm definitely winning this game probably like pff, two thirds of the time or something like that two to one favorite here i guess a little bit of a better prime and a big racing lead six one prime okay the six is great for him he could build the the, the 21 point but i think that's a mistake i think he should run with the six punishment here we go that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, the three. Should we play it a little bit like this? Just to give it a little bit of flexibility rather than stacking up. I don't know. Mm. Actually, I kind of regret it now. <laughs> okay, six, four is the only hitting number. Three, two... Yeah, just played safe, right? I'm up so much in the race. Don't leave any shots. This is a winning position. I think I win. Maybe just clear from the rear. Yeah, clear from the rear. Even though double sixes leave a shot. It's the only one. Clear from the rear. I'm so much up in the race. Just clear from the rear. Yeah, I, I'm pretty certain that I'm winning the air raid battle. As long as I don't lose on time. And now I'm also winning the match. So it's not going to be 5,000 coins for you, Kali. Unfortunately, sorry to disappoint. 6-2. <laughs> uh, could clear from the rear, but just peel off those checkers against the three-point anger here. It's good to get those checkers off the board. This is looking good. You guys worry a lot about my time. It's very kind of you, but... Don't worry, it is under control. <laughs> it's called efficient time management. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I, I, I did spend a little bit too much time talking too much. But this is a live stream, you know. So I need to keep, keep saying stuff. Oh, how do I play this one? Don't lose on time. Nah, then I don't have an ace to play. Let's play it like this. 
let's play it like this. Four one. Oh, <laughs> why not just bear off a checker? Double four. He has to run. Good game. Dead meat. Thank you very much. Next. Next. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Scholastic Backgammon predicts that I played a 5 PR. I would be disappointed if I played a 5 PR. I don't even think I had any super tough decisions, did I? Maybe I just don't remember. I don't think I'm going to play 5 in this match. I think I'm going to play lower. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, 1.3. Scholastic Backgammon, come on, please. Right? Play the 5. 1.3. Okay, and call it. Yeah, we kind of knew. We kind of knew it wasn't pretty. Uh, it's better to not leave a shot here. Okay, yeah. Mutual holding game. Play safe. Race is close. I got a little bit carried away there. Okay, this one. There was a little bit of blunder potential here, but good that I didn't pass. And then he had that super big blunder here. Wow, look at this 600 blunder. <laughs> to, not to, uh, to not come out with a 5. It was just like the perfect roll. He gets to come out and cover both plots no shots no direct shots um yeah he missed that one up okay this one was better to hit loose difficult this was a difficult one um yeah but no need to go through these games right two down playing super pure aha i knew i had to play for the priming battle here but i didn't know i had to play that pure but it would have been better to just run that's also good for the priming battle getting freedom and then he made a lot of blunders in the priming battle Okay, let's see. Slightly better to make the nine point. Okay, fair enough. Here we go. Just make the prime. Hmm, okay, I liked hitting. I know my biggest blunders is when I'm not hitting. So I was really scared of not hitting here in this position. That's it. Okay, 1.5, 1.3. Not bad, huh? Next up, first of all, let's just change the board. Let's go with the Monte Carlo. It's... Everybody always loves the Monte Carlo. Play a friend. Are you ready, guys? The first one to enter the code gets to play. Come on. 40-80. I'm just going to stand up here. Let's see who gets to play. Iskambil, 19 years old. I think I've played Iskambil before. Wow, that's a beautiful win rate. That is a beautiful win rate. Galaxy rating, not too much. Good chunk of galaxy coins. Okay, this is going to be a fun match. Let's see. Yeah, the Monte Carlo board is awesome. We can't deny that. Okay, 2-4, that's a hit. Okay, Iskambil. Young gun from Turkey, 19 years old, apparently. 4-3. Oh, there's a lot of options here. There's this. There's that. You know what? I think we need to do this. But he says now he's going to hit us with a 5 and a 6. Here we have, we have good chances of getting an advanced anchor anyway. Oh, it's just good to win the anchor war. I'm not sure here. I'm going to go with the defensive anchor. Yeah, this could be... I'm actually writing a, a new book about uh, the dilemma of the golden point with situations exactly like this where you can make the 5 or the 20 point. So I should be pretty good at making those decisions, but that one was a tough one. <laughs> it, it, you know what? We're going to put that position in the book. I've been looking for position number 150. It's 150 positions, and I have 149. That's going to be my last position, the 4-3 the I just had to play there. Uh, I think the book is going to be called The Golden Point Dilemma. And basically all the positions in the book is where you, is where you get a roll where you can either make the 20 point or the 5 point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I collected a lot of those positions and you can learn a lot of strategy analyzing these positions. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully early 2024 that book will be ready to be sold. It's just a matter of editing, you know. Uh, the manuscript is almost done. I've collaborated with Alec Barr again on this book project. He didn't ghostwrite it this time, but he helped me to uh, correct it and basically proofread it and corrected all my mistakes. Uh, mutual holding game. Oh, that's a 
not a good rule. Let's play it like this. That's also not particularly good, this roll. So now we're winning the priming battle. Is that something we want to win? Or do we just want to win the racing battle? Do I have any, ch any choice here? No, I don't have any choice. Okay. 3-1. What about this move? Do we need to leave that ace shot? It is quite, quite nice in order to make the point. I don't really need it. I mean, very often it's correct to uh, just slot the five point in front of the four point, but it's just a little bit too many blots here. I got a lot of blots. I don't have any choice, right? Four prime. Nah. I think I like this. I think I like this better. Blocking his fives here gives me a little bit more priming value. Priming power. Okay, we're up to 87 link likes. We're almost there, guys. 13 more likes. If you haven't smashed the like button, smash it. We need to get to at least 100 before this stream is over. Uh, okay, 6-4. <laughs> That's a choice, huh? No, I got a hit. I got a hit. I got a hit. Let's see. Let's see. This is a big swing coming up. Big swing, big swing coming up. Big swing coming up, come on. Is he considering doubling here? Uh-huh. I think he made a right choice not doubling. This wasn't a double. Because it's not like he's winning the game after he hits. Now, however, he lost his market. <laughs> and now the question is, is it too good? And actually, it is too good, I think. And he didn't take much time to... Just roll the dice. That, however, is a catastrophic number. If we can just get a five now, we would be favorites again. Come on. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> can we take this cube? If he doubles. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit scary because if he rolls a deuce, we have two men on the bar. He can roll a six to get out. The four hits loose, the three gets out. It's the fives that are bad, but I think it's too much. I think there's too much gammon here. Let's just give it up and not lose a gammon in the first game. Okay, I'll, I'll be slotting here. It's just minor mistake at this score. Oh, wow. Jesus, what a roll that is. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> nice roll. Oh, yes. That was a nice roll. 3-1. Ah, I'm always th thinking about slotting here with the ace. I'm always thinking about it. Or is it better to triple slot a little bit more aggressively chasing the advanced anchor? I like the triples a bit more. I'm really chasing an advanced anchor here to even up in the anchor war. And look, now I can't make it because he made that ah, annoying five point that's really annoying mm, is that the play running <sighs> yeah let's run for lack of better I, I feel like I'm deserting my rear checkers a little bit making it less likely that I'll make an, a high anchor um, okay that's pretty good Get to safety the blot and block. Build a little bit of priming there on the 11 point. 5-4, I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we have a one-man back. The problem is we're still behind in the race, so we still need to keep him trapped. His back checker's trapped, but I think we have a pretty good chance of that. Uh, he broke structure. Is that the best play? Didn't he have any better play than that? That looked ugly. Okay, anyway... One and four. Good. Keeping it tight. Keeping my front position tight. Okay. Ah, he can make a five prime. Uh, it looks like he has a blitz formation. He does actually, but just making the five prime is just too strong. So that's definitely the right play. Ah, uh, daylight where I will be destroyed. No thanks. Here, I'm also going to get blitz attacked here. Let's stay back stay back a little bit i mean it hurts to get hit by a seven here 
but if I step up to on the 23 point, I get into the range of those three checkers on the 17 point. So it's just more dangerous. Oh, with a six prime. Okay, counter prime. No five, no deuce. No five or deuce. He doubles me. Do I have 25% here? I just need 25%. I mean, can I counter prime him here? I think I can. Even if he runs with one. I think I have more than 25% here. He runs with one, then I attack, and then I can counter prime. Let's take it. Yeah, that's one of his good rolls. You know, he runs off immediately, but I have counter prime potential here. Redouble. Oh, look at this. Counter prime. Look at this. I have good chance. I mean, this is almost an even game now. If I can make the seven point, I'm a huge favorite. I have the timing advantage. Oh, look at this beauty. Thank you very much. I am crushing him right now. Okay, he got to step up, then I have to attack. And let's go for flexibility here. Don't hit, please. Yes, that's the perfect way. That's the way. And look at this beauty. Thank you very much, Iskambil. You did well, you fought well. <laughs> you fought very well. Now he should get creative, actually. He should double slot, that's right. That's the right play. If I can slot, I'll slot as well. Okay, now he's just crunching completely, deteriorating. Yeah, he's gonna have a hard time winning this game. Let's just triple hit, try to not have him anchor up. Do we need to hit that guy there? No, why give him a chance to play a back game? Just come in with a deuce. No need to do anything other than letting him crunch. I don't think I should hit that guy, actually, if I can avoid it. Let's just recirculate here. Yeah, let's recirculate. No problem. No problemo. Yeah, this is the beauty of the game, huh? You get to make that six prime and have your opponent crunch. So let's see what he makes, what he's going to do here. I mean, I think he's going to come in with a deuce and hit just to get to the edge of the prime. Should he just make the, my deuce point? So he has that anchor, at least. Or should he double hit? And maybe try to play, like, somehow recirculate a lot of a lot of checkers. Um, I don't know. This is a timing question. That's tough. Huh? What would you guys do if you were Iskambil here? Should you double hit? Or should you just make the two-point anchor? Okay, he double hits. The problem with... Oh, no, sorry, he did that? No, I don't think that's the play coming in on the ace point now you're just playing it i mean how can you ever win this game at least if, if you had the 23 point or the two point you would have some sort of chance this is just destruction complete and utterly destruction yeah 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 i'm not even gonna hit him i don't care i don't care this is an easy win easy 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 win <laughs> uh i think you should hit I think he should hit with the nace, you know, just to try to not have... Try to fight to get the two-point anger instead of the one-point anger. I'm just clearing this one. Yeah, this is an easy win. Next. Come on, guys. You need to give me more. Actually, Iskampil, I think he played quite well, actually, so I shouldn't... <laughs> I shouldn't say too much. He did okay. Should I just be greedy here? Nah, just clear from the rear. Clear from the rear. Ah, okay, he missed. He had a small chance there if he had hit that checker. Yeah. This is game over. Game over. So, oh, misclick. Let's correct that. <laughs> okay, guys. You, remember, you can play from the phone as well. If you haven't already downloaded the Bagaman Galaxy app, you can download the app in App Store or Android Store, and you can join. You can join me... Uh, from your phone as well. So if you're watching this stream on your smart TV, you can just take your phone and uh, and and put in the code. Go to play a friend and be ready to put in the four-digit code. If you're the first one, you get to play me and challenge me for 5,000 Galaxy Coins. So far, nobody won anything today. And it's not going to be Iskambil either. Let's see the PRs. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Iskambil 6.4. D 
decent decent performance but you know you gotta get up get out of bed early if you want to compete with this grandmaster over here 2.4 uh not giving away anything today okay actually you know what look i write a book on the topic and i still make a blunder backgammon is hard backgammon is hard okay it's too many shots i guess if i make the five point i can still make an advanced anger rather easily and I make the advanced anger. It's a little bit weird to have this 20 point and then the blot, the goalkeeper in front of my anchor. It's usually if my goalkeeper's all the way down, then it's good to make the 20 point. A little bit too many shots. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird move, actually. I'm a little bit biased, you know, because 4 3 is such a good move, role to make the 20 point. But I was wrong here. This one, okay. Prefers to leave the shot on the midpoint. Hmm, okay. I guess that was my two mistakes. Oh, it was actually still too good to double. Uh-huh. Yeah, easy pass. And then this game, I don't think there were any mistakes here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a bad one. Yeah, easy take. I just need 25%. I have a lot of counter-priming potential. Uh, Where was this 2-1 from the bar? I didn't like that one. Oh, really? That was correct? No, okay. Slightly better to make my play here, but okay. Fair enough. Let's go on. Next up, we can do one or two more matches. Um, let me just sw ah, let's keep the the let's keep the Monte Carlo board board one more match. No, let's swap swap. Let's see. Let's let's do the Nebula. I like the Nebula too. Create game. Are you ready, guys? The first one to enter the code will challenge me for five thousand Galaxy coins. Twenty two eighty six. Um, okay, I think, uh, okay, what do we have here? Fitzroy, very nice win percentage again. Um, yeah, good game. A lot of you guys have a higher win percentage than I have. <laughs> I think it's because I play a lot of coin games where it's not about winning as many games as possible. It's about winning as many coins as possible. And then I also play a lot of private matches against Sander, the world champion, <laughs> and the UBC champion. So obviously, uh, he's a tough, tough nut to crack. Um, yeah, not the double yet. Let's see. But I'm winning the anchor war here, so I could get into doubling territory very soon. Um, I could get into double. This could be a double in a three-point match. A three point match, yeah. Let's double this one. Small racing lead, a priming advantage, winning the um, the anchor war. Oh, look at this beautiful roll, huh? What a roll that was! Beautiful. I think I just lost my market. Six four. Hmm, what about this one that he has two blots? There is a lot of hidden covers here. There, there are, there are a lot of hidden covers, but I mean, then we do that. Nah, I think we do this. We're up in the race, 18 pips. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, that was a roll. Okay, instant regret for my move here. I'm not sure about that 4-6, uh, actually. I'm not sure. It could be better to bring two down. That's going to be fun to see afterwards. But I did make many mistakes so far today. <laughs> so... Ah, oh, what a joker. Ay, what a joker, Fitzroy. What a joker. Oh, I'm going to have a hard time taking the cube. Yeah. Okay, he doubles. He didn't, didn't even consider whether it was too good or not. So I need to... What happened? Oh, my screen just <laughs> went black. So I need 25% to take. I don't think I have it here. Down 19 pips. I don't have 25%. Um, okay, 4 1. 6 2. Okay, this is going to be an, an uphill battle. 4 3. Oh, look at this. I Here we have it. I mean, this is the money game move for sure. But I still, what's the double match point move? I think it's still this move, even double match point. Even though a lot of the value from the 20 point is that you don't lose a, ma a gammon. But I think it's still the double match point move. 
Okay, you guys wanted to pass as well. So I have a pretty good game here. I have an, a high anchor and a goalkeeper on the 24. And look, I'm already getting a shot. I think he's going to leave a single shot. He's going to dump a checker to the 23 point. And I need to roll an ace. He might consider 13 to 7 or to the 18 point and then hitting loose on my ace point. He might consider that play. He might consider that play. Okay, he doesn't. Uh, slotting, building a point. Do I need immediate strength? I kind of do, right? Because if I hit this guy, I do kind of need immediate strength. I could also play this one. This is a little bit weird. You know what? I need immediate strength because I might get a shot next time. Yeah, look at this. He He can't cover it. Okay, 4-1. I mean, there's only one play here. What? There's a loose connection in my monitor. It keeps going black. <gasps> okay, there we go. We hit it, and now we're happy that we made a strong inner board without blots. That's why I said we need immediate strength, not long-term strength. And now we're back in the game. I'm not sure who's a favorite now. We need to hit this guy when he's coming. Ah, oh, we miss it. That's not good. Hmm. But the race is still rather close. So it maybe makes sense to come up with this guy. It could also duplicate aces. Does that make sense? I don't really want to get hit. This is more flexible, but I need to get daylight with this guy, I think. Yeah, let's do this. 3 1. I'm going to get another shot. I'm going to get another shot. Okay, so Michelle King in the YouTube comments. Maybe somebody can help her out. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I need to hit. I couldn't hit. Okay, well, I'm coming in on, on the 24, so I have the contact for next time. The race is still close, but I want to get that contact. Okay. He's going to make the 14 point. Again, I keep getting my chances here. So let's try to hit that shot. Fitzroy, where are you from? No country, no age, gender unknown. Okay, very secretive player I'm up against here. He's got quite a good record, 115 wins versus 68 losses. That's a good record. Decent galaxy rating, decent winning experience points. Ah, oh, I still can't hit him. What about the six? The race is so close that I don't want to do this. I think I have to do this. Yeah, the race is too close. But he can't really hit me here. That's the thing. That is the thing. So Carlos is, go is asking me whether I'm going to be in Cyprus Open or for the Cyprus Open tournament in November. Most likely not, Carlos, but I wouldn't rule it out completely. Okay, 3-1, not the best, but I guess I just develop. Still, he can't hit me because of those blots. I would like to get big doubles and just win the race here. That's probably my best chance. Uh, play this, maybe. Yeah. 6-5, that's a good roll. He wants to roll high dice, so he... Oh, look at this, catching up. Break all contact, only up two. Nope, it's better to just keep a little bit of contact here. But let's play it like this, because I have a small disadvantage in the race, because Fitzroy is on roll. I'm assuming Fitzroy is a male player, but can't be sure, right? Cannot be sure. Should I save sixes here? I'm winning a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's play as race efficient as possible. I don't need my home board, really. This is going to be a race. So I just, I didn't want to make any inefficiencies like putting an extra checker on the deuce point or something like that, creating wastage. Mm. But now I might have to do it, right? Save a six. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, double four. I might lose my first match. Ah, oh, nothing I can do when the opponent is just winning the races. 
Difficult, huh? Difficult. Wait a minute, it's better to play this one, maybe? Yeah, I think maybe this one is better. Ah! Double sixes. Come on. Come on, Fitzroy. Okay. My first loss of the live stream. No, actually, I should maximize my doubles here. <laughs> Super Dance says, now you know how it feels. <laughs> yeah, this is game over. This is game over, unfortunately. Maximize my doubles. Okay, let's do one more match, guys. So I'm going to go first, check out my blunders, then switch up the board, and then we're going to do one final match of tonight's stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Yeah, we made it uh, past 100 likes during the live stream. Very good, 109. Can we do 125? Is that too much to ask? Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Okay, 2.7 versus 5. I'm slipping a bit. Maybe I'm getting tired. 2.7. What did I do wrong? Okay, this one. Yeah, small blunder. It was better to just come down with 2. There's a mu much less volatility making this play. Because he doesn't have those super jokers. Uh, after I make that play, I do give him those super jokers. And that's exactly what he rolled. And he punished me for it. And then here, of course, I don't have 25%. Here I have 19.7. Uh, I know that I'm quick to review, ba uh, guys. I am sorry for that. Okay, this one slightly better to go for future strength rather than immediate strength. Fair enough. Close call. This one. Aha. Breaking the mid was better to keep contact. What confused me here was the close race. That's why I played this play. But okay. Uh huh. Racing. Hmm, surprisingly, this one is better. I guess it's getting two extra crossovers for the race. Maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe that's why. Okay, next up, let's play one final match. By the way, let's check my stats here. I must be going down a little bit. Ooh, now I'm down in the twos in my three-point statistic. Me median error rate. Looking better. Okay, let's get to it. Let's change up the board. Which one to choose? Which one to choose? Hmm, moon? No, it's a little bit too boring for a stream. Neptune, you all know the Neptune, even though it's beautiful. Maybe the Dune board. Earth board is always a winner. Pluto board? Nah, it's a little bit not good for streaming. Cosmos? That's a fun one, but it's a little bit too zen. I do that. I use that. Maybe we should just use the good old quantum that I spend all of my galaxy coins on purchasing. Yeah, let's do the quantum. I have my eyes set on the Gutenberg as well. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Black and white. It's like a book. It's the same design as in the Masterclass book. Uh, but I need to win some Galaxy Coins first. 250,000. Okay. Play a friend. Are you ready, guys? Let's do it. Last three-point match. Last three-point match. Here we go. 46, 5, 1. Okay, let's see who's the faster one who gets to challenge me. Uh, An O Sass from the US male, 33 years old, uh, slightly below 50%. Okay, well, good luck, An O Sass. I'm curious what your real name is, but uh, you're gonna have a hard time winning this match, An O Sass. Because I will bring it. I'm going to go to town and I will destroy everything on my path to win this match. Okay, not exactly the best start. <laughs> not exactly the best start. So Mark's rule says two cu uh, early cubes are always ticks, except if you have two men on the bar. And here I have two men on the bar. However, however, I still think it's a tick. Because this is not the double five blitz where you have a three point board. You have a two point board. Eight men in the zone. Yeah, I gotta take it. Okay, six three. I mean, the only thing that's indicating a pass is the match score, right? Because you wanna be a little bit careful about not taking gammonish cubes at this match score. But, okay, he does. Seems to punish me quite harshly. Okay, there we go. There's the take. We are in. 
we are in the match in the game. Five one. What? Ah, <laughs> I mean that took me eight hundred milliseconds to compute. Okay, he is back. We don't have a double or anything. His prime is still too strong. But look, he let go of his midpoint. Ah, oh, that's a killer. Now he's just blitzing us. Ah, oh, now we're getting blitz attacked. Double sixes. He has to bury. Not a good roll. Not a good roll. Even though he does advance his back checkers. I don't think that's a good roll. Look at this. Now we're in. And he buried a checker. He buried a checker. That's basically a forced move. He has to run from the rear. So Puchanka George says, it took me half a second to put the code and still invalid. Well, maybe there's a little bit of a variance on the YouTube stream. Some viewers are one or two seconds ahead of some other users. So maybe you want to refresh and make sure you have the quickest YouTube stream. Oh, 6-3, what about just safetying this guy, losing this gallon? I think that's the right idea. I think that's the right idea. Okay. What's up with this? 6-2. Uh, okay, I can. I need to hit with the 6. That would be nice. Ah, the deuce. Can we do this to build? Nah, it's too much. Even though it is duplicating the deuces, I think it's probably better to just do this. Yeah. It's nice to block him as well, having the 9 point to block. Now he's going to hit and split. Easy play. Easy play. I really need to enter now. I don't even need to hit. I just need to enter. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. No four. Ah, okay. He hits back with a four. That would I would have if he hadn't rolled a four there, that would have been a game winner because I could recube. Now I need to not dance. Don't dance. Don't dance. Ah, dancing. Ah. Wow. Three two. He punishes me. Now I need a deuce. Come on. Oh no. I'm gonna lose a gammon to this guy. Oh, in a one-game match, anything can happen in a one-game match, even uh, even on the error rate. And now he's going to get a lot of easy moves. I don't know if he made any mistakes. Did he make a mistake? Did he make anything I didn't like? I don't remember. I feel like he made one move, but I don't remember. I'm too tired. What time is it? Just past 15 minutes past midnight. Okay, double five. Oh, that's a destroyer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going out with a bang, <laughs> but unfortunately to the wrong side. I, the villain, is winning. Not good. What's my odds of winning this game? Twenty to one. Yeah, probably twenty to one. Five percent wins you because the three men on the bar is going to give me some extra chances down the line. And he has a little chance of making a mistake here, but I mean, ah, just played like that. Just played like that. It's impossible to blunder. Six four. Okay, I'm not. You know what, guys? Don't count me out yet. I have a little bit of a winning chance here. Ah, that's a good one. He gets to clear from the rear. Five one's another good one. Okay, three. Here we go. I am down to the last out. Come on with an ace. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Game over. Game over. Good game. Okay, I'm going to resign. This is an easy gammon. Resign the match. Yeah, this could be 5,000 coins to answer. It could be 5,000 coins to answer. Let's see. No. Okay, at least I finish in, finish in style, right? Just playing the perfect match. Uh, answer you played well you were lucky but unfortunately nobody's getting 5,000 coins tonight and that's that okay guys see you next week thanks a lot for uh, watching the stream hope you liked it we had quite a few viewers today so that's pretty fun uh, we didn't get to 125 likes we can still make it if you everybody who hasn't smashed it smash the like button then we're gonna get to 125 likes but, you know, it's just a little late night stream here on a Saturday night. So can't put my expectations too high. So it's okay, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And um, 
I mean, should we analyze this game? No, I played a perfect match and Ansa did a couple of mistakes. Let's keep it at that. Uh, yeah, I'll be playing a lot. I'm playing every day. Uh, I'm playing coin games and uh, matches. So maybe I'll see you in the app, in the Galaxy app. Uh, it's downloadable now from App Store. And uh, yeah, see you.